And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 28, 2020. Let's go to Mr. Polly. Hello, students of Renaissance Charter School of Finance. Mr. Polly here with another Polly Positive Act. What I'm going to ask you guys to do for this week is not just for this week. It's for the entire rest of your life. Always continue taking out the trash, doing the dishes, making your bed, and cleaning your room, okay? I'm gonna ask you to do a huge favor and continue these poly positive acts throughout your whole entire life because this will just make you a better person overall. I hope everybody enjoys your summer. We only have one week left, so please hang in there and I'll see you next year. Polly, that was great. Now let's go to Jane to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 28, 1742, the first indoor swimming pool opens. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what you do today if you're born and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Pitchers family. Welcome to Things to Do if You're Bored. Have you ever wanted to make your room into a winter wonderland? Well, you can with these paper snowflakes. Here are the steps. Take a white sheet of paper and fold a corner and then cut a semicircle out of it. Then trim your circle if needed. Next, fold it into thirds. To the edges to make imprints. After you've done that, open it and you have a snowflake. Wow, wasn't that great? Now you have something awesome to decorate your room with. Remember, if you do this DIY, send a picture or video to pines.rantalks at gmail.com. And don't forget to check in tomorrow for the next DIY and stay creative. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now let's go to Water with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Vani. And here's his joke of the day. Mike went fishing one day, but at the end, he had not caught a single fish. On the way back home, he stopped at a fish store. I want to buy three trout, please, he said to the owner. But instead of putting them in a bag, can you throw them to me? Throw them? Why do you want me to do that? The owner asked. Mike replied, so I can tell everyone that I caught three fish. <laughs> now let's go back to the yell. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You really know how to pick the good ones. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your Moto page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance will be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats! Mr. Santiago, Ms. Milholm, Ms. Santori, Ms. Moraz, Ms. Samuel, Ms. Anaya, Mrs. Cutner, and Ms. Gilbert. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, I had lots of flavor and I have many layers, but if you get too close, I'll make you cry. What am I? The correct answer to the riddle was an onion. Now for today's riddle. How can a pocket be empty and still have something in it? 
Once again, how can a pocket be empty and still have something in it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone on RBTV would like to wish all of you a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.